of seven sets. First to four goes through to the semi-finals. We now introduce to the stage a man playing in his fourth Winmore World Masters quarter-final. The former England Open Masters and National Singles Champion. The former World Darts Trophy Champion. Big Robbo, Gary Robson! We now bring to the stage a two-time former Winmore World Masters champion, the reigning BDO World Trophy champion, the reigning two-time Lakeside World Champion, Daza Glenn Durrant! And here we go with the first of the men's quarterfinals. Now we see Glenn Durrant versus Gary Robson. Um, as you would have heard Little Richard say, now the format has changed. It's now slightly longer, so it's now the best of seven sets. Now these two players have met six times while they've been on the circuit and um, Robbo must be one of the only few that's got a winning record against Glenn as he has won four out of those six meetings. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, first set, first leg, it's Glenn the Trove first, game on. And there's Glenn laying a marker down with the first throw of the match. Sixteen. That's his first of the day and the fourth of the tournament. Sixteen. One hundred. Forty five. Then you require one hundred and sixty one. One hundred and five. A nice set up there from Glenn to leave fifty six after twelve. Ninety six. Glenn, you require fifty six. Yeah, that's came short in the first line. Glenn, nice fourteen dark leg there. The hockey throw. The first set. First, game on. Ninety-six. 
100. Almost 70 to the tournament now. putting the marker down with his own throw so it's got the mic makings of a really good game here 59 Gary Uricar 88 And now it's going for 40 for a hold of three. Yeah, uh, that's game show than a second line. Gary Robson. And replies Third with Glenn's 14 darts his own 14 darts. One hundred. So now, which way is Glenn going to go to start? He's going to stay, stay down there, and now I go back up to leave the one seventy. Perfect execution from three oh six. So Robbo should come down and stay down. Fifty-eight. Glenn Uriqua one hundred and seventy. So Glenn on the one seventy again. One hundred and thirty-four. Great covered out there from Glenn. Then you require 36. Uh, that's King Shaw in the first set. Glendon. What a Second great set, first, first set of It's going to throw first. Pima. So that's got to be the highest first set average there from Glenn. I would say it's around about 107, 108 average. Ninety-seven. Eighty. Unlucky bounce up there from Gary. Ninety three. One hundred. That's Gary's second of the match. Fine. Gary Uricor, 141. Uh, 
95. Ninety nine. Gary, you require forty seven. Forty six. Fourteen. Forty one. Gary, you require thirty two. Right, Gary, thirty two for the hold of throw. Twenty-eight. Glenn, you require one hundred and forty-seven. Uh, Glenn for one four-seven. He's already taken out one four-four this weekend. So let's see what happens. One hundred. Gary, you require four. And that's Kim Shaw on the first leg. Gary Robson. Second leg, it's Glenn the Trove first. Game on. Fifty eight. Fifty five. One hundred. Ninety six. Good cover dart there from Gary. One hundred and thirty seven. One hundred and twenty five. Thirty. Glenn, you require eighty one. Forty-nine. So now all Gary can do is put some pressure now on. One hundred. Then you require thirty-two. And it's Kim Shaw in the second line. Glendon. Third line gets Gary to throw first. Game on. So Gary with the throw. What can he do here? One on the end, 40. Good start, man. 135. Yeah, kind of deflected off, off the top two flights there, so a little bit unlucky there from Glenn. 57. Feel now with that, with a hundred or one forty, he's taking control of this leg. One on the forty. One on the end, twenty three. Now you still make Glenn slight favourite. Ninety-six. 
140. Then you require 130. And now he'll be looking for at least a dart of the balls I hear. So ball for a break of throw and the two sets to love lead. One on the left five. Gary, you require 41. Yeah, that's Kim Shaw. Then a really crucial set. to hold the throw there Gary from Gary. Robinson. First set, first After hitting the double the first start, he would have been a little bit annoyed with that. One hundred and eighty. Robert, they'll be third of the match. Sixty. Seventy-eight. One hundred and thirty-seven. Good cover dart there from, uh, from Glenn. I feel like Gary can find a, a ton here. Sixty. That would have made him favourite, but now it swings back towards Glenn. And there you go, Glenn sets up the 68. Ninety-nine. Glenn, you require 68. Yeah, that's came short than the first time. up from there from Glenn for another 14. Second leg, like. it's Gary to throw first. Game on. One hundred and thirty four. One hundred and seventy seven. Oh, great dance there from Gary. Another one seventy seven of the tournament. He's not letting Glenn get away from him here. Even if, it, uh, even if you look at the averages, there's much more about 10 points in the averages difference. One of them, 34. <laughs> 29. Gary, you require 100. Very rare sloppy throw there from Glenn. Sixty-eight. Fifty-eight. Very required. Thirty-two. And that's Kim Shaw on a second line. Gary Robson. Whatever you can do, Glenn, I can do as well. So another 13 dollar there won. from Gary. One 
nummer en, ta ti for. Great pass there from Glenn at a really crucial point in this game. Glenn, you require 87. So now, Glenn, 87 for the hole to throw. And a two sets to one advantage. Yeah, that's Kim Shaw on the third set. Great Glenn finish there from Glenn. Four set, first leg is going to throw first. Game on. Ninety six. Ninety five. One of the name will go on forty there from Gary. Look at those averages, 101 to 93. Both thrown above their tournament One average at the 14. moment. So it tells you what a good game this is. Good thinking there by Gary. So should we come downstairs now? 58. Yeah, two options there, I'm, I'm, with whether the Travel 20 was covered. 97. Sixteen. Gary, you require 17. That's been sure that the first line. There we go. Another Gary good Wilson. hold down by Robert. Second line so gets Glenn the first. Demon. Ninety four. Forty five. For Glenn, that's his second of the match. One hundred. Sixty. A little bit disappointed that uh, the first two were, were begging just to sort of come off it for the for the hundred, but he's set off for the sixty. On and Robo hits his fourth one eighty of the match. Glenn, you require one hundred and sixty-seven. Seventy-nine. Then you require 88. So he won at least a dart of the ball after this combination. But he's going to get two at double 14. Seventy-nine. 
74. Gary Unicorn, 116. Gary can take out his first time for time plus finish of the tournament. Not now. 56. Then you require 14. And that's game show in the second line. Glendorand. Really good to see that. Not an awkward first. double, but he went straight at it. One hundred. Eighty-five. Eighty-three. Fifty-eight. One hundred and forty. Dial from World Bank. Now, Glenn really needs a 180 here to keep keep up with him. Julia Prides with his third of the match. Thirteen. Now, a one three eight now, and we could see our first breaker throw for a set. Robert, we we'll kind of think he's got to take this out. Fifty-seven. Glenn, you require seventy-eight. Fifty-eight. Gary, you now. require. Are we going bullseye or treble 17? Yeah, oh, that's what Sean a great the finish there set. from Gary. Gary Robson. Fifth set, first leg. It's Glenn the Trove first. Game on. One on an M fourteen. Now both players will know now this this is a pivotal set. Because obviously if Robo can break, he goes three two up with his throw to win it four three. And Glenn will know then if he wins it, he's only gonna break Robo. And he's won it for two, so... 60. A lot will be going through these two players' mind at this point in time. 93. One on the end, 40. One hundred. Gary, you require one hundred and sixty-one. Oh, Robo, one six one. Fifty-nine. Then you require one hundred and eight.
And it's Kim Shaw to the first leg. Great hold to throw there from Glenn. Second leg, it's Gary to throw first. Kim on. Forty-two. One on the name, 40. One on the name, 40. One on the name, 25. Sixty. A little deflection there off the flights there from Gary. Seventy. Five. So he's going he's to have to swap direction in this throw, or he might not need to now. Yeah, he's going to have to come down. Ninety-nine. Then you require one hundred and fifty-one. Fifty-nine. Gary, you require one hundred and sixty. Yeah, that's oh, what a great a finish line. there from Gary. Gary Robson. Third leg, it's Glenn. Lovely one sixties, highest finish of the tournament. One hundred. One on the name forty. So now, Glenn's got a game on on this leg. He needs to find a couple of troubles now. Forty-six. So now, Gary. Has the darts. One on the M40. And another 140. Could this be the first break of throw in sets? One hundred. Now, the door's back open now for Glenn. They get a 140 here. Or even that 134. And 96 would leave 159, so he can't stay down there. He's got to change. Eighty-one. The thinking was correct, so the execution was wrong. Forty-one. And again, now Gary's left the door open again, so if, if Glenn can just set this up. Gary, you require so now, 135. Bullseye to start with. 17. Glenn, you require now a 76. 76 in the context of this main game. Yeah, that's game show in the fifth set. What a Glendale. great finish there. Six set, first leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. One 
One on the name 40. One on the name 40. Good pass there from Glenn. Now, an opening. Ninety seven. Crucial last out there. Closes that door, but his fifth 180 of the match. One hundred and thirty-one. Glenn replies there. So now one for one. One hundred and twenty-nine. And now Glenn one three three for the break of throw. Ninety-three. But just tidies Gary it up. Twelve. Yeah, that's came short. Good hold of right there in thirteen. Darcy for Robbo. Second leg. It's Glenn the throw first. Game on. One on the end. Fourteen. Forty-eight. One hundred and forty. Glenn knows if, if he can win this leg comfortably, where is he's now put all the pressure on Gary. Because if we go down that final leg, Glenn knows he's got the darts in the last set, so he can relax slightly. And Gary then knows he's got to win that leg. One on the end, 40. <laughs> 100. Then you require 81. Forty-nine. Fifty-eight. Then you require thirty-two. Yeah, that's came short. Yeah, here and a we go. Line. Third leg. It's Gary to throw first. Game on. What's Gary going to do here? One on the end, 40. It, he will be thinking, I know Glenn's gone out in a roundabout when he's winning the legs over around about 14 darts. But Gary will be trying to think, if I can go out at 15, then we're going down the final set. One and then Glenn one fires in another 180, his fourth of the match. What a fantastic oh. reply. One hundred. Eighty one. Now. Glenn hits another one of those 140s that he's renowned for scoring. I would say that puts him slight favourite. Or even a 180. And that's 
That's on his fifth one of the match, right at the right Rick time. One on the end, 20. I think the expression there on Gary's Glenn face when he's trying to pull any more hair out in his head says it all. And now Glenn, nine for double 16 for the match. Game, shot, and the match. What a fantastic game of darts there. And Glenn is the first player through to the semi finals. Well, a terrific match between these two men from the northeast of England. Great to see him on the big stage in good form. Big Robbo, Gary Robson. But the two-time former Winmore World Masters champion is through to the semi-finals. Daza, Glenn Durham.